Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy, I forgot what I said. <laughs> Happy Tuesday morning to you. We're on a Tuesday, so on a Wealth Tuesday on your four keys to a healthier, happier you. And same thing about just ideas. People's different ideas can create so many different things. Just think everything about you you see on a daily basis was once just someone's idea. Everything from a car, from a, a sink, to a set of stairs, to a house, to a building, to a town. They were all just once someone's idea, someone's thought process, before they became a reality. And the same thing I was thinking, reading the book the other day, was saying about how um, uh, John Pemberton, back in 1885, he invented a soft drink. And he, he mixed a, a combination of cocoa leaves, uh, cola nuts, with uh, carbonated sugar and water, carbonated water and sugar, back in 1885. And this drink went on to become the biggest seller, you know, it's called now Cola, um, Coca-Cola. But he invented it back in 1885. He was looking for uh, something to help him. He, he had a, an injury in his shoulder. He's looking for something. He was on morphine all the time for this pain. So he's looking for something to help to actually reduce the pain. So he invented this. He was a pharmacist. So he invented this drink to actually help with pain. The, that actually helped reduce headaches as well. And although, unfortunately, he died in 1888, five years, uh, three years after inventing this drink, and he never got to see its full potential come along, and he sold uh, the rights off just before he died because he was so ill. Um, but it, he, said, he said, one day this will be a national drink. I mean, in the first year, they only sold, I think it was like uh, nine bottles a day or something like that. It was like very little because obviously they were starting the business off. But it was his initial idea, he invented it. He did actually create a brand new soft drinks there were soft drinks around he just created a new flavor with a new syrup so there's getting the ideas just think hang on then is there things that are around today already here that i could actually improve on that i can do a slight twist to that i can make my own so it's my own thing and that's what you need to take is just having one good idea and think okay how can i turn things around it's like bill gates he never invented a computer he just developed some new software it's like there's so many things people have done that sort of thing colonel sanders he never invented cooking chicken he just developed a new recipe for the chicken so it's just those things thinking what's out there that i can do myself so i can put a slight twist on and i can make my own version of something and then it's mine and i can go on to create it and then it's again it's then into advertising it getting the word out there about it getting some customers who enjoy it get some feedback and developing it that way and it's promoting it on the way through but it's just thinking okay what idea can i have myself what am i interested in what do i enjoy doing and then I can get my own twist on something and make it my own personal brand, my own product, my own company, and then move it forward as I want to. But it's going to be a slow start off like anything. Slow start off, and then you slowly build it up. But it's having that initial first idea of thinking, okay, what is it that I want to do for me? This is my, my legacy, if you like. I'm going to leave. What am I going to create? It's going to be to say, yeah, you invented that. Whatever your name is, you invented that. This is yours. And you brought it to life, thought about it, developed it, and on it went. Happy days. There you go. So one one thought can change everything. So what's your thought going to be today? <laughs> I've just had a good one. All the best for now.